the hunters at a medium slow tempo. One and a two and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two. So not the A below middle C, not one below, but two below. You can't see it. Let me see. Oh well, you can't see my left hand. It's these notes. One on A, two on G, three, except an octave lower. So that's what it is. So I'll start here on page three, one. A is tied, just add C, now add E, so you end up with an A minor triad in the right hand. Rest. 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 One, two, three, rest. Tied at E. Rest F A D. The F and A are tied. Switch the D to a B. Rest C B A. Both hands do. I was just going to point out that measure here where the mezzo piano is. These two notes stay down, the F and the A, and your, your D switches to a B. So you have one, two, five, and then you have one, two, three. But you don't replay the F and the A, they stay down. So let's do page three again a little faster. It's just like the beginning. Turn the page. So the ending is like the beginning, except instead of doing the A chord again, you do the, the G sharp B E, the E major chord. So it's the same shape chord, one, two, five. Just move your thumb up to C. So the left hand is doing the same thing, 5, 3, 1. Keep that same shape of the chord and just move it up so your pinky's on C. There is a common note. Your thumb is on E, and then your 3 becomes on E. Thumb on E, 3 on E. Same thing in the right hand, pinky on E, then your 2 is on E. So if you focus on that repeated note, Five on E, two on E, and thumb on E, three on E. It helps with the shift. Uh, 
eh, unless you overthink. Now this is the same thing over and over again. So now I'll do that same thing an octave higher. Same thing in the octave higher. But instead of playing a solid chord here, you're going to play it arpeggiated, broken down. Cross over and end on an A. So that's an arpeggio, but it's an arpeggio of an inversion. Not A minor root position, but A minor first inversion. Same chord. This is A minor root position in the left hand and first inversion in the right hand. And then you're going to play the three lowest A's on the piano. If you can reach it, your left hand is um, pinky on the lowest A and then the thumb an octave above it. So if you can reach an octave, the left hand's playing two A's at the same time and the right hand plays that A. So. Rest. 